Now we're going to do the flash. If you are still in your device manager, get out of your device manager and navigate to the folder where you have your flash files. Execute the R29 update exe file. And you will get a window with all your options. You don't want to change your options. And everything should be checked except for the loader and the backup. Loader box is optional. You can check that. You still choose. And the recommendation is to click the Erase IBD button before you start. And that will only take a moment. And then click the Run button and let it run. This will run for 15 or 20 minutes. There will be a clear message that it was successful. Unfortunately, I didn't capture that in my screenshot. But if there's any errors, they'll come up in red and you should not have any errors. When the reboot is complete, turn the tablet off, remove the USB cable, and power the tablet back on. After we boot the tablet, you'll notice most of the applications are gone. We still have the Wi-Fi, a downloads, Explore, which we'll need to get the applications back in, and upgraded settings, super user, and the Wi Fi as well. We're going to add the applications of our choice with the App Injector tool coming up next. And now I'm going to insert my SD card into my computer. Your computer should recognize the SD card. May I ask you to accept it? If it does, go ahead and accept it.
then you want to open your app injector folder and copy the individual files to your SD card. Do not copy the entire folder, copy the individual files. The individual files need to be at the root of your SD card for App Injector to work properly. So copy them out of your unzip file and paste them into the root of your SD card. Once they're done pasting, you can go ahead and exit the folder. Then eject your SD card from your computer. and remove the card. And now I'm going to insert the SD card that I built earlier with the app injector. I'm going to run the super user app. Now I'm going to explore, open up the SD card. Run App Injector. So it's telling me the install is blocked. And we're going to allow unknown sources. And it's warning me that it could be vulnerable if I don't just use the Google Play Store, the Android market. You want to say OK? Try that again. It's asking me, do I want to install the application? And I want to say, yes. And it's installed. It runs very quickly. Want super user? I want to say, allow. There's a bunch of notices. And we want Google Play. That's the whole reason for doing this. Google Calendar, Gmail, Google Books, and you can get whatever you want.
and the stock applications. We want the default browser in order for Google Voice Search to work, which is sort of irrelevant since the tablet doesn't have a microphone on it anyway, but I want to install it. I'm going to install calculator, the desk clock, picture valley, wall players, stock music player, stock video player, and additional Next book applications, Adobe Flash, Astro Manager, Office Suite, Task Killer. Now I'm going to install the selected applications. Actually, we're going to inject them. And we are done. The applications have been injected. Go back to home. And there they are. Recommendation is to reboot the tablet. So that's what I'm going to do next. Power reset. And there they are, including the Play Store. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Good luck on your project to reload the new app and to root your tablet and install the apps of your choice. I hope this presentation has helped.